White Matica, it is one of the best mods for Minecraft because it allows you to add in schematics to Minecraft and easily build stuff with it. So let's just jump into it. First things first, you wanna to go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. And this is our complete text guide on getting Lightmatica. It covers everything you need to know about getting Lightmatica. And once you're here, go ahead and click on the download Lightmatica button to be taken to the official Lightmatica download page on CurseForge. On this page, what you wanna do is click on files here. Then we wanna find the 1.20.2 fabric version of Lightmatica. Right here it is at the top for us, but you may need to scroll ways to find it. For us though, right here it is at the top. Come over here, click the three dots on the right and click download file. The download will then start. And while this is downloading, come message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown at XYZ slash SGH to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins and mod packs. And if you have any issues along the way, we have a high quality help center and expert live chat support to help you out. I should also mention you can host a vanilla server and do anything you can with any other Minecraft server at Simple Game Hosting as well. So you gotta check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown to XYZ slash SGH to start your very own Minecraft server. Nevertheless, Lightmatica is now downloaded. You may need to keep or save it depending on your browser. Now, Molly Lib may seem a bit out of left field, but it's a required mod for Lightmatica. It's a library mod that's required for Lightmatica, and there's a link in the description. Once you're here, click download Molly Lib, and it will take you to the official download page where you want to click on files here, and then you want to find the Fabric 1.20.2 version, which, as you can see, is right here at the top for us. But again, you may need to look down a bit for yours. Go ahead and click the three dots and click download file. And the file will begin downloading after a few seconds, just like Lightmatica did. You may also need to keep or save Molly Lib, just like Lightmatica. And there's one more thing we need to download, and that is Fabric. Fabric is the mod loader that makes all of this work. Basically, the mods go to Fabric, and Fabric talks to Minecraft to make it all work together and allow you to use the mods in Minecraft. In the description down below, we have a link to here. This is our in-depth guide on downloading the Fabric Mod Loader. Once you're here, go ahead and click the Download Fabric button to be taken to Fabric's official download page. On this page, you want to go ahead and click on the Download Universal Jar link here. The reason we're doing that instead of Download for Windows is because if you download and use the Universal Jar, it's going to work moving forward no matter what for other Minecraft mods. You're going to have things set up perfectly. Go ahead and click on Download Universal Jar, and the download will begin. You may need to keep or save the file, again, depending on your browser. Now let's go ahead and minimize our browser and move everything we just downloaded to our desktop. Don't worry though, it's not going to clutter your desktop forever. It's just going to be there temporarily. So where is it at for me? Well, it's in my downloads folder here. It's probably there for you as well. So go there, find that, and move it to your desktop. Again, this is mostly just for ease of use, but as you can see, we have Lightmatica, Molly Lib, and Fabric all here on the desktop. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and start off with our Fabric installer file we downloaded. Right click on this, click on open with, click Java and click OK. But Nick, I don't, I don't have Java. If I click open with, I don't have it. Well, you need to get Java 17 then. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods. Obviously, that's what we're doing here. We're modding Minecraft with Lotmatica, so we need Java 17. Luckily, this guy goes through everything you need to know to get it. Top to bottom, it is all covered here, and it is super in-depth. We even got a video. Now, you may also need to run the jar fix, and what this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. So first, get Java, then get the jar fix, run the jar fix, and you will be able to install Fabric by right-clicking on Fabric, clicking on Open With, clicking Java, and clicking OK. That will then open up the mod installer, or the Fabric installer, I should say, for Fabric 1.20.2. You want to make sure 1.20.2 is selected here. Make sure Create Profile is checked and then click install. Fabric's gonna install super quickly. The only reason this wouldn't work is if you've never played Minecraft 1.20.2 before. If that's the case, go play it without any mods or anything like that. Just launch to the main menu and close out of it and then you're good to go. And if you've done that already and this still doesn't work, it might be because Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. You wanna make sure both of those are closed before installing Fabric. Now let's we can click OK and close out of the Fabric installer and delete the Fabric installer from our desktop. Now let's go ahead and get Lightmatica installed. To do this, we wanna go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here. Then once we're in the Minecraft launcher, what we wanna do is make sure that we have a Fabric installation. Now if you do have a Fabric installation, don't play Minecraft yet, don't do anything, just keep watching the video, skip forward a few seconds or whatever. But as you can see, we do have a Fabric loader installation here. How do we see that for sure? Go up to installations at the top. Then you wanna make sure modded is checked. As you can see, if it's not checked, Fabric's not there. So make sure it is checked. And there is the Fabric loader 1.20.2. If you've got this, awesome, skip ahead a little bit. But if you don't, click new installation here. You can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it simplegamehosting.com because that is the easiest way
way to play Minecraft with your friends. And then go ahead and click on the version drop down box here. And then we want to select release fabric loader 1.20.2. Once you've done that, I'm going to go ahead and change the resolution just so you can see better once we get in game. But that means fabric is now selected. Go ahead and click create here. And now we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile with fabric loader under it. That's great. Now, how do we stall like Matica? Well, what you want to do is go to your fabric installation, either the one that was there by default or the one you created. Hover over it and click on the folder icon that appears. That will open up your Minecraft folder. Now, in your Minecraft folder, you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't. Well, look at this. I don't either. So what you want to do is go ahead and right click and create a new folder. Title of this folder, mods, all lowercase, exactly like that. And then open up our mods folder. Then drag and drop Lightmatica and Molly Lib into our mods folder, right like so. So you want both of these files in here. They should have the similar formatting with fabric and 1.20.2 as well on them. And then once you've got that, we can close out of this and launch Minecraft using our fabric installation. Once you've done that, Minecraft will now open and Lightmatica will be installed. I'll meet you on the Minecraft main menu to show you a bit about how everything works. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. There's no indication here that Lightmatica is installed. But if we go in game, either on a single player or a multiplayer server, like the SimpleGameHosting.com server I have here, we will be able to see that Lightmatica is in fact working in game without any issues. Now, what's really, really cool is Lightmatica is not on this server, but you can still use it on this server because Lightmatica does most of its work locally. So if we come in here and we hit M, the Lightmatica menu will open up. This is where you can see your different schematics. You can load schematics right here. You can add schematics here as well by coming in here and I believe just even dragging and dropping them into here works. But how do you get to this schematics folder? Well, that does require us to go back to the Minecraft launcher. And again, you can access all of this by clicking M. There's so much you can do in here. And we do have an in-depth guide in the description down below that goes over how to actually use Lightmatica. And this is here. So you can come in here and actually use Lightmatica. It goes over everything. Help nearly 200,000 people at this point get Lightmatica up and running and use it specifically. You've gotten it up and running. That's not covered in this video. It's 11 minutes of me teaching you everything you need to know to actually use Lightmatica. But how do you add Lightmatics or Scumatics to Minecraft? Well, that's actually very simple. So let's go ahead and close out of this really fast. And then we will open up the Minecraft launcher. Now, like we got to our mods folder earlier, we're going to do that exact same process. So click on installations up here at the top, and then you want to make sure modded is checked. Then go into your fabric installation here, either the one you created or the one that's there by default. Click the folder, and then in here, we have a schematics folder. This is where you'll add all of your dot .lightmatica or dot .schematics or schematica files, and then you'll be able to load them in that menu I showed you load schematics in Minecraft. So with that, you now know exactly how to download and install Lightmatica in Minecraft 1.20.2 and even how to start getting using it. Well, like I said, we also have that in-depth guide in the description on how to use it as well. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. We're more than happy to help you out. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.